scientific research that has found that between four and eight seconds before you have a conscious insight to a solution, to a problem, the solution has already been found. In other words, the timing is out and it makes no logical sense. This theory gets around this problem by explaining consciousness as electrical activity that is aware of its own electrical potential. This is possible because the light photon is the carrier of the electromagnetic force. Because light has momentum, and momentum is frame dependent, electrical activity in the brain is always in the centre of its own reference frame, in the moment of now, with a potential future that is always uncertain, and a past that has gone forever. It is because consciousness is always in the centre of its own reference frame that we have the concept of mind, with each one of us having our own personal view of the universe. This is within a process formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light, a process of continuous energy exchange, forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic radiation or light continuously because the universe is never at absolute zero. In this theory, consciousness is the most advanced part of a universal process that can be explained by physics. Paradoxes in this theory, we are in the centre of our own reference frame, being able to look back in time, in every direction, at the beauty of the stars. We can also look down into individual reference frames, seeing the future unfold, photon by photon, relative to that frame of reference. The greatest effect this process of continuous energy exchange has on us is the aging process, with photon energy from the sun cascading down, forming greater degrees of freedom for the continuous increase in entropy or disorganization. But above all, this is a creative process, with the future coming into existence relative to the energy and momentum or actions of each individual life form. The wave-particle duality of light is acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer. This forms a blank canvas for life to form its own future relative to its position and the energy and momentum of its own actions. It is a continuum with space-time as an emergent property, with an arrow of time for each object or life form, with a future coming into existence relative to their energy and momentum with each new photon-electron coupling, or dipole moment. The future is an emergent property, forming the time dilation of Einstein's relativity, as part of a universal process. Energy slows the rate the time flows, as a process of continuous creation. Conscious thought is the most advanced part of this universal process, and this can be seen as the readiness potential problem of conscious decision-making, where there does not seem to be enough time for free will to take place. But in this theory, consciousness is at the forefront of creation, as an integral part of the process that forms a future that is relative to the energy and momentum of each object or life form. I believe this is what we are seeing when we see an artist at work. We are seeing the future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of the artist. In this theory, creation is truly in the eye and hand of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe on YouTube and be part of the promotion of this theory.